Well, I'm really proud of our guys who played against an extremely difficult team to play. They're extremely athletic, do a great job in so many areas, offensively and defensively. I was proud of the guys because we did some great things by rebounding the ball and pushing the ball. But at the end, when things kind of got a little harried and, and we didn't make some shots that we needed to and they were making free throws at the free throw line, chipping away at it, we were able to have enough in us to be able to hold on to the win. Uh, they made some great shots and did some great things. So I'm uh, just real pleased with the effort of all the guys on the on the floor, the bench, and everywhere. I'll open it up for questions. John, you have a question? I always seem to. Uh, question for Coach, actually. Um, two, if I can. Uh, as far as C.J. Jones, uh, he came into this game with only one assist in each of his past five games, seven tonight. I was curious how crucial he was to your success. And secondly, as the only team who's faced Gonzaga twice in non-conference play this year, and as somebody who's been around the block, can you give me an idea if they're just another great team or if they're one of the best teams you've ever seen in the sport? They're really, really good. They shoot the ball, they get up the ball up and down the floor, they do some amazing things, and you can be rocking along with them, and all of a sudden, boom, they, they hit the accelerator and they're gone, and Raspert and Timmy, Larry's uh, brother, wherever Larry is, Larry's brother, you know, they just do a great job and, you know, they're very, very impressive. C.J. Jones did a great job. C.J. Jones had a great first game last year in the conference tournament before COVID shut us all down. He had 10 points and had about four or five assists in that game a year ago. He came out with the same result today in the first half. The second half, we went with some different rotations. Not that he's not important, but he understands what we need to do for this team to be successful. Next question is from Megan. You may unmute your line. Hey, Coach Megan with uh, KLAX. Congrats on the win. When you uh, kind of reflect back on last year, y'all just beat Corpus Christi. Y'all were heading to play Sam Houston, and that's when everything kind of shut down. Knowing that uh, we're a year later, things are a little lighter, how does this win feel? Uh, it feels fantastic. The only thing, there's a couple of things about COVID that we did win and we won a game and we got a whole year to think about that last win. <laughs> that was the only thing that's been good about COVID is we got a win and we were able to enjoy that all year. But uh, it, it was exciting then to come back today and be able to get this win over a very good New Orleans team to put us in a position to play our league champion, Nickel State. It's very, very important for us. Next question is from Hadari. You may unmute, unmute your line, please. Absolutely. Uh, Hadari Jones, Garage Department Media. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Um, you guys made it, it got a little tight towards the end, but you were pretty much in control uh, most of the game. What were you guys able to establish early, and, and how were you able to, for the most part, keep control of the game? Well, I thought Trent Master did a really nice job of making some shots, but I thought Coach. Larry Owens did a great job along with Jamari and Kendall, uh, Kendall um, Coleman did a nice job of rebounding the basketball. Hey, we got some easy, not all, none of them were easy, but we we'll take a minute. Okay, that's, that's okay. Thank you, Larry. You're always getting <laughs> out very of good. the ditch. But I thought that they, uh, we did a nice job of getting the ball. Larry took his time, got in, and I thought Jamari Gregg in the second half was able to get the ball to the bucket, make some good, some good plays to get some easy buckets. Every time they made a run at us, we were able to answer with it there. Uh, so that was really, really important. The, the struggle was at the end, we missed three, three out of four free throws, and they came down and scored each time. Of course, three-pointer with 12.4 seconds to go was a big shot for them to cut it to two. But uh, I just felt like that we had good pace. I thought we did a good job for the most part of taking away their transition game because we rebounded and we got the ball in and we got back so much better than we've been doing. So I thought that was very, very important for us to be able to be successful in those areas to lead us to uh, put us in a position to win the ball game. Next question is from Jamarcus. Jamarcus, you can unmute your line, please. Uh, Coach uh, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick with KLB in Alexandria. Um, could you talk with me about, you know, how big Trenton came up in this game to be able to score 20 points, shooting three for four from beyond the arc? How, how big was that for you guys? Well, it's always important to be able to drop some shots in and make some shots because when that happens, it stretches the floor and it allows Larry or Jamari or Kendall or Dalen Williams, other post guy, 
the opportunity to be able to get a little bit of space to be able to get the ball and position to work and score. And I, I think that makes a huge difference. And I guess kind of following up with that, Trenton, for you, how uh, big is it when you're able to get hot and make shots like that to keep things rolling on the floor? Um, I think it's important, just like Coach said with the bigs, um, bigs play a lot better when you get to the ball early and when our guards are able to hate shots, not just me, but everybody else, it makes it easier for our bigs. So um, I think me getting hot and just anybody making shots early on in games will always benefit us in the long run. Another question from Megan. You may unmute your line. Hey, Larry, first off, I want to uh, send my condolences to you and your family. Um, I just want to know, how did it feel for you to come back in tonight's lineup and just play the way you did, 13.7 rebounds, two steals, and then grab this win? Um, I feel actually good because, like, when my, when my pops pop, um, passed away, like, my teammates, they helped me stay insane, like, not only them, even, like, the people from Spokane and, like, everybody around the school, they kept me insane. Like, I mean, at first I was breaking down, like, all they told me, like, you're a guy, with child, I mean, you're a child of God, just keep your head up and better days will come. I mean, like I said, I played my game, this game tonight for my pops. I mean, he never watched me play a day in my life. All he just do is talk about, oh, I got a son that play ball. He played ball. He never watched me play in my life, but, I mean, it was amazing. And you talk about Spokane. I mean, we know that was months ago, but you're still getting tweets from those guys, like, as of before the game even started. Yeah, my guys, man, they, um, they be looking out for me. I mean, I just showed the same love they showed me. It's like all about love. Like, I ain't never had that in my, um, my life. Like, a lot of people out here in this world that I don't know show me so much love that I expect to get from where I'm from. But like I said, where I'm from, it's hard because Everybody for their own. Nobody trying to help the next person do this and do that. So, I mean, I really appreciate the love they gave me. Next question's again from Hadari. Um, a question for Larry. Yes, Larry. Um, you, 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 you had a pretty good presence inside, and then you, you got into a little foul trouble. How were you able to refocus and get back in your rhythm and, and, and help close out the win tonight? Um, I, had, I really had to clear my mind because at first, like, me and one of the players was going back and forth, back and forth. Then, like, once me and him got to going, the whistle started blowing. So I'm like, I got to um, just calm down and stay humble. And then once I got that four foul, I was like, dang, I ain't getting back in the game. And then coach was like, hey, stay, stay ready, stay ready. So I, mean, I was walking around, instead of cheering my team on, started defense chant. I mean, they kind of got me back going right there, just doing those little things off the court, staying positive and cheering my team on. Jamarcus? And one, oh. I'm sorry. One more for Trenton real quickly. Uh, uh, Trenton, you, you shot pretty well tonight. What were you seeing out there on the court that you were able to get into your rhythm early and, and keep and basically, you know, keep, keep your team uh, uh, calm and in rhythm? Because even when they made their little runs, you guys were able to uh, spread your lead back out. So what were you seeing out there? Um, I just think that we had to come out fast. The last game we played them, we kind of got out slow and then we started to pull away in the first half. But I think after getting out to a fast start is always good. And, um, and on a personal level, last year I didn't do anything here when we played. So I was just trying to be aggressive and help my team the best way I can. Um, but most of all, we got the win, so that's the most important thing. Jamarcus, go back to you. Uh, Larry, kind of going back to um, talking about the Gonzaga game, and uh, I saw the clip where you, you borrowed and you've been using their center's signature, I guess, dance or whatever that he's been doing. Uh, just kind of talk about that relationship that you built with him and, you know, how basketball is beyond just the court and how you're able to build it up with people like that. Um, really, it was just like he had did. He did something in the game, and he was like, oh, no, I know what he did. It was like... I was posted up, and what, what before I was posted, he was like, why did I get you the ball? I was like, just got to be humble. I mean, eventually they'll give me the ball. And then we were just talking like that, and I was just like, um, what's this little celebration you be doing? And then he, um, he was like, oh, the, the stats? And then I was like, um, yeah, yeah. I said, I said I'm, I'm going to take that from you. And I said, when I score you, I'm going to do that same move back on you. And then the very next play, I got the M1 on, and I did it back to him. 
and then be and kind of build the um, relationship right there. I have time for one more question. Brandon, you've had your hand up. Do you still have a question? Uh, yes, I do have a question uh, for both players. Uh, just about the middle aspect of you know being able to get out to the big lead, but knowing that New Orleans kept shipping away, shipping away, you guys kept finding ways to keep them from uh, taking the lead for good. Uh, could you, could you, the players. Yeah. Players. Okay. Oh, I didn't hear what you were saying. Oh. Chipped away the lead. You talking about chipping away the lead. Oh, chipping away. How are you able to stay tight or stay oh. composed oh. and finish it off? Oh, I mean, we just had to stay together as a team, basically. I mean, we just break down, but then, like, one of us had to step up, like, hey, we good. Like, I mean, I said it to them all the time, like, don't break down at this time, like, stay focused. We're going to pull it through. And then, like, once I got that foul, and one of my teammates was like, bro, you got that foul, it's this many signals. Take that foul, ain't no wrong with fouling out. I was like, all right. And then, I was, like, I talk to Trent all the time on the fire, like, bro, we got we to we pull it, we got to bring it home. I told you tomorrow. Go out there and ball. I'm, I'm calling them to the coach. Run X for Jamar. They run X for Jamar. Jamar can easily get to the basket. You know, because Kenneth about stopped his quick first step. I mean, we just had to pull in. and somebody has to go be a leader. Can, can I answer that? I know he didn't ask, but it's mm -hmm. important to follow up on what Larry yeah, said. At Southeastern, your, we, we came Sorry. out and got ahead at Southeastern early in the year. We had one conference win at that time. We go to Southeastern. We're struggling. We got up. Southeastern comes back in the second half. And they take the lead. And when we came off, now think about this. We played 11, 11 guarantee games, Gonzaga twice, uh, a whole bunch of tough schools, Washington State, all these people. And we weren't supposed to win any of those games, and we didn't win any of those games. But Larry says to the team, we need to remember that we are good. And that is pure peers instead of coach. I could have said that all day long. But Larry's saying it, or Trenton's saying it, or one of the others, one of their teammates believing in one another, that, that really makes a lot of difference. 